Today we continue with the Monster Hunter World board game series, unboxing the second core set, the Wild Spired Waste, which is part of the Kickstarter All-In Pledge. We're gonna be checking the new monsters, the hunters, the board and all the components. Hi, my name is Nick and we are Tabletop Duo. So grab your favorite drink and let's start with the unboxing. All right, so here it is, the Monster Hunter World, the board game, Wild Spire Raced. So let's start by removing the shrink wrap. All right, so on the front cover, we have a concept art of uh, the Diablos. Then on the side, we have one for the Puki Puki and we have also one for Bareth. All right, so let's open it up. Big box. There you go. Like on the ancient forest, there is a paper with a concept art of Diablos. And in the back, you have all the instructions to organize your storage tray. Then right after, we have the two wings for the Diablos, right and left. If we remove this insert, the Wild Spire Waste comes with four monsters. Actually, five if you count the two versions of Diablos. So you get the Puke Puke, Baroth, the Juratudas, and the Diablos, which with the same miniature you get two versions. You get the Diablos and you get the Black Diablos. They look amazing, a lot of details on each one of the miniatures as you can see, just like in the ancient forest set. Now I'm gonna remove this insert. And then we get to the punch boards. For the core set, you have three punch boards. Here you have a series of status and condition tokens, threat level markers, break tokens, and the token whenever the part is com the monster part is completely broken. Hunt markers, palico tokens, and the hunter's health dials. And these are terrain tokens. You have bushes, rocks, and some have water like this and the uh, monster health dial. And then you have the double-sided board, which is, of course, inspired by the Wild Spire Waste. On one side, you have more of kind of a desert theme, and on the other side, you have like a kind of a transitioning uh, territory. So you, you still have some trees, you still have some water and so on. As you can see, when we put the miniatures and the board, like everything looks amazing. All right, so right after we have the rule book, all colored. I really liked the, the rule book and how things are explained. It's not hard to understand. It's, uh, you know, easy to go through and so on. Then we have the Wild Spire Waste quest book. So this is where you're gonna be hunting the monsters and doing the uh, investigation phase. And the first monster, the, the one that starts everything, the first quest is gonna be the Bareth. Concept art. Then right after we have the combat dashboards, it's one per player, so let's open it up. They're just like in the other set, we have one per player, and it's made of a very thin cardboard. Then right after we have the player sheets, so this is where you're gonna be marking every single material and monster part and everything that you collect for your character. And you have also the campaign tracker. Uh, so you count how many days your campaign took. You can also put your Palico name here. Then we have the four hunters. They look amazing. They are carrying the main weapons of this core set. Lots of detail on each one of the miniatures. Next, we get to the monsters. I'm gonna say data cards, that's not the right name, but like, that's pretty much what they are. So we're gonna go through them to have each one of the versions for the Bareth. One, two, and three stars. Puke Puke, one, two, three stars. Jura Todos, it's gonna be the one, two, and three stars. And Diablos, we get the one, two, and four stars. Black, Black Diablos, we get the one, two, and four stars. Look at that. Here you have the different parts that you can break, and also what happens whenever you break each one of the parts. 
the status here and here, the special ability of the monster and the monster health and a nice image right there. Then we have one board for each one of the monster hunter weapons. So you have the switch axe, the insect glaive, it's a classic one, the charge blade and the heavy bogan, also classic one. And um, you have also one board of each one of the weapons I just mentioned, but for the Ancient Forest. So if you're playing with the Ancient Forest set, you can also make these using the materials you get on the Ancient Forest set. In the back of these cards, you also have the Armor Forge reference. So you get to see how can you build each one of the armor sets with the items that you get. Here you also have the rivets. So I'll show how the dials look like once you assemble them. So that's how the monster health dial looks like. And that's how the hunter health dial looks like. We also have three dice, which are used for loot rolls and also for uh, certain time cards. And then we have all the cards in the game. So I'm gonna open up each one of the packs and we're gonna check the contents. Uh, for the cards, they use a uh, sleeve size 63.5 by 88, in case you wanna sleeve the cards. Here are the weapons and also the attack cards for the weapons you can forge when you play the Ancient uh, uh, Forest. Here we get the damage cards and the elemental cards. These are the Wildspire Waste weapons and their attack cards. I think these are the starting gear and weapons for each one of the hunters. These are the gear cards. These are the time cards and the Palico cards. They look awesome. Look at that. And these are the monster behavior cards. So some monsters will move and then attack. Well, here like they attack and then they move. And in the back, you have the monster they belong to. Then you have the insert. All the cards fit here. Uh, but if you're trying to use sleeves, then the cards won't fit because they, the, 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 the slots here are very tight. So that's it for the unboxing. And that's it for today's unboxing. You'll be able to find the other Monster Hunter review and unboxing videos right here as soon as they are released. Thanks for watching and see you next time, Hunter. Bye!